Hello friends, it's Astro here and welcome back to the jungle where today I need to get well on top. Actually, hang on, let's slow this down so we can actually make it out of this door. Past our giant guards here, I need to get on top of prison dude security classifications. Let's have a look at intelligence because I need, hello, blue gang leader. And look, unclassified guy. Uh -huh. Now, I need to get on top of the unclassified guys. And let's... What time is it? 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. What we're going to do is we'll just quickly grab this guy. And we're going to say, you are protective custody? Question mark? What else do we have access to here? Me and Max normal we're using. So normal is intake. Like that's when people come in, they're marked as normal. Um, min max and super max are the different gangs that we're using. So, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if we can re this somehow so that, I mean, should I just go protective? And that way non-gang related people get slammed into a protective wing because we do have a protective wing that is still sitting over here. Is it this one? Uh, let's look at deployment. Yes, it is. Okay, so, <clears throat> this one has all the fi- Oh, did I miss that last time? This one has all the fixins. Oh, God. It has all the fixins for a group of protective custody people to have uh, an area of their own, i.e. people that don't have a gang affiliation. And then this one up here, maybe this one. Yeah, we'll use this one. And this one here we can wreak a furball. Um, so what we'll do is we'll mark this one for now as staff only, right? And that one can be redone as another red, uh, section eventually. But what we'll do is we'll just nip into here, press, uh, one speed, and we'll have a look at gangs in this area, right? So anyone where there's a door closed, like this guy here, Lever's Edge, not in a gang, protective. Cool. Intelligence. Gangs. Door closed. This one? Underwood. Not in a gang. Protective. Cool. We're doing it. Because uh, I figure that these dudes who aren't in a gang, well, you know, they need to be taken away from the gangs. There's another one over there. Okay, hang on. Let's, let's nip over to there. And we'll see if we can get these guys out because hopefully these guys like Conigan here can be our, you know, employees and they can do the, uh, they can run the shop and sell things to the gang members. They can do the cleaning and stuff. There's another one here. All right, Russell, get over into protective, buddy. We're going to look after you. We're going to look after you. We got this. Gangs. Okay. They're, they're starting to wake up over here now. They're starting to get all riled up. The doors are locked because we don't have enough guards. This is a problem. Guys, can someone... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Um, can someone... Oh, oh no. Can, can we have some guards deployed in here, please? Okay, good. No? Yes. Okay. I think I need to exit the prison now. <laughs> um, I'll just stand out here for a little while, just to avoid any uh, any badness that's going on. And, you know, just sell some wood. It's it's the standard sort of thing that we do when we've got nothing better to do. Um, or when there's a riot underway. I don't like to, uh, partic uh, participating in riots. It doesn't seem like a fun thing to be, um, to be engaged in. The prisoners seem to enjoy it, um, which is cool. I mean, that's fine. We've had an escape, somehow. Um, this is a problem. I don't know how. Probably a tunnel, I would imagine. And it's probably going to be down here. So, yeah. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, Alright, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, at, a, at some certain point. Um, because, yeah. We're not doing well. We're not doing well. I have to say, let's panic, just mildly. Yeah, see here, we can see these ones have tunnels in them. So when nighttime rolls around, we'll issue another shakedown 
and see if we can get on top of this. For now though, I really desperately need to start getting this guard count ticked back up again. And they're gonna buy, god damn it, they're gonna buy body armor and tasers and stuff every time. Oh no. We need more dudes. We need more, 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 more dudes in this prison. What's Bramley upset about? Oh my god, he's a preacher. And he wants booze. Alright, Bramley. What about the rest of these guys? Anyone in here that's not a gang member at this stage? Alright, Bramley. You can get in a minimum. Um, it's hard to do when they're all moving around like this. Um, there needs to be a shortcut for some of these. Uh, Thompson and Wallace. Alright, Thompson. And where's Wallace? Wallace, you can get in a minimum as well. And who else have we got in here? Intelligence gangs. Uh, Scott and... Alright, Kantofer is blue, Scott is red. Scott, you can be red. And then the last two guys, C and... Oh, C and Bitteridge is going to be super max. And this guy is going to be just... Maximum. Okay, great. So that's that sorted out. These guys should now be shuffled off to the correct areas. I'm going to go down here and just hide out in the security room for now. I <sighs> This deployment system is starting to get a little bit worrisome, I have to say. A little bit... Mm, a little bit funky. A little bit strange. But that's okay. That's okay. We can figure this out. Right. Let's see. Where are we? We are, I mean, our daily cash flow is good, but the fact that we keep having riots is making things rather problematic. Um, and it's just, I mean, I don't think there's anything that we can really do to steady that up. We've got spirituality. I mean, there's a chapel, but it's not big enough for everyone. So perhaps, perhaps we need to add some spirituality satisfying things into their common rooms. That might be a nice thing to do. Let's see if we can... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. Um, so when we've got some cash, maybe we'll add some prayer mats in the common rooms. That might be a good way to go. Okay, let's see if there's any wood to be sold down in here, which of course there is. Uh, there's a heap of it. So let's get into here and we'll sell up all of this wood. That should give us another... How much? 4,300 bucks. Not bad. Um, and we can nip over to the common rooms. Or should we do it out in the yards? Let's do it in the yards. That seems like a good idea. So one of the comments I saw today was um, asking why I don't put uh, sand out in the yards. But trees still grow on sand. Uh, I may... Yeah, maybe we should have a little beachfront. Maybe that'd be nice. Yeah? We'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we'll add that in later on. But for now, let's get... Some prayer mats. No? Why can I not place that? What's going on here? Where is it? Prayer mat. Uh, does it need to be indoors or something? That seems strange. Can I put them in here? No, I can't. Why am I not able to... Oh. Dang it. Check it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, <clears throat> nothing's getting built out there now. That is just going to be as it stands forevermore. Oh. Bromley. You're, uh, you're hoping to get um, released, are you? Let's see. Estimated reoffending chance is 97%. Dude, you are not getting paroled today. I love your enthusiasm. I love how you think maybe this will happen with that giant skull tattooed on the back of your head. But, um, mate, you are not getting out of this joint. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Um, you, you, you're here forever. You're here forever. So, where are we? We're in yard time. Everyone is out in the yard just causing havoc. And I guess, I don't know. We're just going to have to do a lot of waiting in this game at this stage. Just because of the, the cash situation, um, we are going to be spending a lot of time just sort of floating and waiting. 
and hoping and praying. Hoping and praying for our workmen to keep a good amount of wood coming in. Um, and hoping that one day our protective dudes, who are free to roam, I mean, it's not like they're protective protective. It's not like they're going to get stabbed and stuff. Well, I mean, they might get stabbed. Pretty much everyone's likely to get stabbed in this place, including me. Um, but they're not, you know, your standard snitch sort of protective custody. So the likelihood of them getting just lynched and murdered is lower than normal. Not, not zero, but lower than normal. Um, so yeah, I guess with them, hopefully we should be able to use them to do the work that we want to do. I mean, let's have a look at, um, let's have a look at our regime here. Not our regime. What is it? Um, programs. Um, right. One person actually has finished the workshop safety induction, which is pretty cool. So maybe we'll get some license plates tuning out. Um, we've got four people who have done the kitchen safety and hygiene course. Um, no one is qualified to do the carpentry apprenticeship, which is sad. Uh, what else have we got? That's about it, really, for... Wow. Spiritual guidance to past. <laughs> oh, shit. But 57 are in the queue. Maybe I need to think about doing more of this. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe we should do an alcoholics group therapy as well. Where is that? Um, oh, that conflicts with spiritual guidance. What? Stop. All rooms booked. Why, what have I done? What has just happened? All of a sudden, these are all broken. Why? I mean, this is in the chapel. Well, I've just balked that entirely. What the heck has just happened here? Let's, let's... <clears throat> let's clear out all of these then. Um, and see if we can figure out what just happened. So, these are going. That all seems to be working correctly. Kitchen safety and hygiene. I mean, just one of these per day is probably enough. And you know what? These can be pruned down as well. Because I think they cost you every time it happens. And maybe we'll just have... Like, less parole hearings? Let's just go... Two per day. Like, two blocks. But there's two rooms, so we can have double ups. Uh, spiritual gardens can just be one. That's fine. And... Can we actually squeeze this one in now? No teacher. What's required? Led by a psychologist. Do I not... Have a psychologist? I do. Then why is that no teacher? Reshades a lot. No. No, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, is it because it's tried to slot it into that same slot there? Possibly. From six to seven. Hmm. All right, we'll bugger it. We'll leave that. Um, I mean, it's not going to stop them doing what they're doing anyway, so I don't think it's really too much of a strain. Uh, right. Well... Now that we've wasted all that time, where are we? Work free time. It's 8 p.m. Uh, so, yeah, we can get in in a moment and start looking at uh, doing that shakedown. Let's let's collapse this down. We'll sell a bit more wood. Hopefully we can get some of this garbage taken away. Um, and, yeah, see what we can do. Let's speed things up a little bit. And we'll get down here in preparation for our removal of tunnels situation because we can I can see that there's three here, right? I can see that there are a number. I could just do a toilet search to find them. It's probably not a bad way to go. It'll definitely yeah, see there's one there. We found that. That's nice. And these ones we haven't found. Let's try again. Come on. Ah, it's so hard to click the toilets. Especially because I can't press the tab button. Because that... You know, it, when you press the tab button, it switches you in and out of the... Um, oh, dear. Well, there's some shenanigans going on. When you press the tab button, it switches you in and out of inventory mode. Like the this guy here. 
so yeah, you can't use that to select items, which is a bit... Eh, it's fine. Maybe it'd be nice if you could remap the... Uh, the Oh, hello. We found one. It'd be re uh, it'd be nice if you could remap the inventory switch to like tilde um, or something like that. But, you know, it's not really a huge problem. Right. Let's do a full shakedown. What's uh, being searched out there? Probably a log. We'll do a full shakedown and we'll search this whole prison. We'll see what we can find. We're finding some drugs. We're finding some keys. A few batons and things like that. Nothing scary though. I haven't seen any tunnels pop up up in the top section. So hopefully when we toss this, we'll find all these tunnels proper. There has to be one that's made it out. Because we had an escape, right? Nobody's going to make it out through the remote doors at the front. So I don't... Did I just see... I'm sure I just saw... Okay, hang on. Let's get into the prison. I'm sure I just saw a protective custody guy inside one of these wings. Where was he? Um, intelligence. Gangs. Not that. Um, I mean, well, I can do intelligence gangs, I suppose. Let's slow this down. So, who we got here? We're looking for closed doors where there's not a gang icon next to it. Um, no, so they're all okay. Uh, let's come out and around to here. My god, Red is still holding all of those common rooms. I really, really need to classify those separately. So these guys are all classified correctly. So that's good. All right. So it, it was just that I was shoveling people into red before that we were having problems. And okay, there is... Wait, what is this block classified as? Oh, this is marked as protective. Okay. Why did I do that? Was I planning on using that for something else? God almighty. I need to stop leaving. Oh, wow. Look at all these tunnels going on. Alright. Let's remove those then. Any more? No? Just those? Beauty. Okay. Yeah, I really need to stop um, leaving so long between play sessions. Um, because it is kind of confuzzling me a little bit sometimes. Let's... Um, Alright. I want to keep the protective boys up in the top wing. So what I'll do... Is I'll just change the deployment on this one to staff only. Cool. And then the common rooms. I'm going to classify those now. I'm going to set those up so it's min. And then super max. And then max. Now the only problem I've just realized. Is that. Our friends in protective custody don't currently have a yard. So if I want them to be using just this cell block here, I think this was the one um, that I marked up as protective. Let's check my deployment. No, that one's staff. So this one out here on the ends. Why is this protective? That's a bit silly. So we want this room to be protective. And then, oh, jeepers. All right, that's better. So all of these cells and this canteen and this tiny common room can be for protective. But I think protective custody needs a yard as well. So maybe we'll give them their own tiny yard on the top here that they can use to, you know, be looked after. Why are these cells closed? There's no one in them. They should be, uh, they should be open and ready to go. Right, no gangs. Deployment. Protective. Huh. God knows. God knows. I don't know. I know what I'm doing. Very confused. So... Oh. James, are you not a gang member? You are not. Well, could you go into protective custody for me, please? I think that, yeah, having you work in the shop front like this is exactly what I want. Because it'll help with the, um, it'll help with the, uh, the, the, um, satisfaction of our chums. They'll get some luxuries. My god, there's actually letters being delivered as well. What about in the library? There's garbage. Excellent. I mean, you know, I haven't read Fifty Shades, but, uh, maybe one day I will. No, I won't. Um, cool. Let's, uh, let's get some of these sold up as well. It'd be real nice if someone could make some license plates for me or something to that effect, at least get 
This... God, guys, I just cleaned this room out. Really, please. When someone actually does learn how to make a bed, then sure, go and put a bunch of wood in there. That'd be lovely. But until then, you're not helping me out, guys. By shoveling that stuff in there, it's really not doing any good. All right. Um, let's, uh, let's turn this shakedown off because we're into daytime now and I wasn't paying attention and it's going to cause some problems if we're still doing a shakedown while people are moving about. Um, it, it'll just gum the works up. Oh, hang on. Let's go and see if we've got some new prisoners in at 8am, which I wasn't paying attention to. Let's have a look, shall we? Alrighty. And yeah, a lot of goody guys. Let's do this. These guys are upset because they're just being jammed into this tiny little prison block. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, green, red, blue. Green, blue, red. Blue, red. Okay. So. Green, red, blue. Green, blue. Red, blue. And red. Off your truck, guys. Hopefully, I'll get some more non-gang aligned people coming through uh, as time goes along. Because each morning, we get a new batch of prisoners. So hopefully, with each batch, we might get one or two that aren't aligned to a gang. And then we can shuffle those into protective and use them for cleaning and cooking and all that sort of jazz that we like to do. But anyway, we'll worry about that next episode. Friends, thank you very much for tuning in. I do hope that you've enjoyed this and that you're enjoying this series. Um, if you are, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment down below and say hi and all that sort of stuff. And yeah. Whatever you want to do, really. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch you all next time. See ya!